Wow. Hello guys and welcome to another Karate for Everyone. My name is Masaru Hoshi. It's a pleasure to have you here with me. So for today's class, we're going to do high intensity training. So high intensity training is basically I'm trying to push your heartbeat in a higher level or at least try to. So before we start class, as always, I ask you to pay attention to your body. If you have any kind of injury or something that bothers you, like uh, some joint problem, heart problem, knee, neck, something, anywhere, be really careful with those exercises, okay? So everything we're gonna do here, try to pay attention and check if they are within your safe area. If you do some kind of exercise that you just feel it's gonna hurt you too much, or you foresee something that you should not, stop, slow down, and try to keep on the pace. Do anything else, okay? Do your best for doing your exercise, but don't harm yourself. That's the most important thing. So, as I said, today, high intensity training, which means I'm gonna to try to mix some high intensity, uh, some cardio exercises with some karate training, or basically sparring, or uh, yeah, basically sparring techniques. Okay, so we're gonna do, we're gonna start usually as we do with some stretching exercises, then we go right away into the, uh, into the exercises and close to the end, we're gonna start mixing some sparring techniques. Okay, let's come on. Let's come on, let's come on. Have it, yes, right o'clock, right o'clock. Okay, so shake your legs, shake your hands. Relax your body. I don't know you, but I'm trying something different lately. I'm working sitting on the floor. Yeah, that's weird. One day I'm going to show you. Okay, let's Okay, as usually, let's start, as usual, let's start with a gym do. So stretching from toes to head. So toes down, rotate to one side, back. Rotate again, and back again. Okay, the other foot, go from one side. Make sure your blood starts circulating, especially if you stay, if you stay all day long sitting, that's really good that you move your body. We actually put this to move. Okay, that's my screen, that's bad. Okay, next one, toes up, big toe up, and change, toe down, go up, down, up, down, up, and down. Okay, feet together, hands on your knees, rotate one side. Go, let's, knee, sa, si, go, rock. And the other way, it's, knee, sa, si, go, rock. Okay, now go down, open, and back. Ni, sa, si, go, rock, and back. It's ni, sa, si, go, rock. Okay. Okay. Rub your knees. And drop in sikodach. Okay. Horse rider stance. So, this position is not very comfortable for most people because, well, most people don't use to stay in this position. But it's really good for especially your tights, your hamstring, and your butt muscles. Yeah. So we stay sitting all day long. So we don't exercise the inner tight. So as doing that, you're forced to go lower. And as you go lower, you have to contract your inner tight. Okay, so from one side. Push your, push your elbow, your, keep your arms straight, and look all the way to the back. Okay, change. Now one arm straight, pushing against your, against your, your knee, and look over your shoulder. Okay, change, go to your other side again, push. And one more time, push. Okay, hands down, push your shin, 
Keep looking forward. Okay, now both hands on the floor and stretch your legs. So, as you go into this position, relax your back. So, we're extending the back of your legs, nothing else. If you can't touch the floor, that's okay. Just relax your upper, your upper, your upper body. Okay, from here, lean over your left, your right foot and try to get, try to grab your foot. Okay, go back to the center again. Relax your back. Okay, now lean over your left foot and turn your body when you do that. It's not only your arms, and you should be twisting your upper body. Okay, back to the center. At this point, you should be much more relaxed, much more stretched. And come up slowly. All right. Hands on your hips. Rotate one side. It's up. Sit. Go. Rock climb back. It's me. Stop. Sit. Go. Rock. Okay. Push to one side. Push your hips. Try to keep your body straight here. So don't bend forward. Try to push your arm over your body. And push that way. You should be like a little stretch in this area. Okay, let's go for the other side. Same idea. So try to keep your arm over you. Straight. And if you do like, if you try to reach as far as you can, this is gonna help even more stretching this area. So go all the way that way. Okay. Back to the front. Shoulders. Rotate your shoulders forward. So big circles. It doesn't have to be fast. Try to make like really long movements when you do this. And back. Okay. Arms forward now. Rotate. Big circles. Again, go all the way back. It's e, sa, si, go, rock and back. It's e, sa, si, go, rock, sit, at, skip, do. Okay, elbows. So relax your elbows, relax your wrists, and the other way, rotation. Okay, both hands in, rotate your wrists, make really long circles, and back. Okay, shake your fingers, okay, fingers down, push forward, extend your forearm. Okay, back. Fingers up, push forward. Okay, arm across. And behind your head. Okay, now the other side. Fingers down, push forward. Okay, back, fingers up, arm across your body, and behind your head. Okay, arms forward, open, close your fingers in fist. So it's ni, sa, si. Go, go, sit, at, kyu, ju, it's ni, sa, si, go, go, sit, at, kyu, ju, it's ni, sa, si, go, go, sit, at, kyu, ju, okay, palm hand up, close, and it's ni, 
Look to your left and right, left and right. Back to your left shoulder, right to your right shoulder, left to left, right to right, half circle forward, half circle forward. Okay. Last last one. Push your push your chin forward. And tuck your chin in. Out. In. Out. In. Okay. Good. All right. I hope you're ready. <laughs> That's usually. As usual, I have to have my cheat here because I never learned those techniques, those exercises by name. And it looks like they haven't. It. Okay, first one. We're gonna start with lunge kicks. So lunge kicks, we're gonna knee down, kick. Oh wait. We're gonna knee down, step up, and kick. So this leg, alternate kick. All right, we're gonna do that for 30 seconds from one leg, then we're gonna switch for the other one. Ready? In five, four, three, two, one, and go! Come on, it's moving. Keep your hands in front. And keep your hands up all the time. Keep your hands up, just work going low. You don't have to go too low if you don't feel like it, but try to put the pressure on your front leg. Okay, four more seconds. Two, one, and change. The other way. Go down, step up, and kick. Back, down, and kick. Hands up, don't lower your hands. Keep your back straight. Okay, five more seconds. Three, two, one, and you have it. Okay, we warm up. We have three more exercises for legs. So this one, we're gonna do ratchet squat. So for ratchet squat, we're going for, make sure your legs are about your shoulder length, we're going to squat, come up, turn, back, and squat. Turn, back, down, and one important thing here. When you squat, don't do this. You're working your legs. So keep your back straight as much as you can. You're going to see your bum going back and come up. All right, so back straight. We're going for 30 seconds again. And five, four, three, two, one, and go. Squat up, turn and back, down, up, turn and back, down, turn and back, down, turn and back, squat, turn and back, squat, squat, and go. Come on. Keep moving. Ten more seconds. Go, go. And five, four, three, two, one. I am good. Next one. Squat jump. Yeah, we're doing a lot of squats. So squat jump. Same thing. 
So keep your legs like about your shoulder length. Do a squat, come up, squat again, jump, and back. Up, back, and jump. Back, up, back, and jump. Okay, we're going for another round of 30 seconds. And three, two, one, and go. Up, and jump. Up, and jump. Up, and jump. Up, and jump. Up, jump. Keep going. Fifty more seconds. Go. And five, four, three, two, one. And yummy. Nice. Last one, but never easy. Side winders. And I'm going to grab my pillow. So for side winders, you're going to start a little wider than a squat. So shikodachi, hands in front, grab your fans. We're going to turn, back to the front, turn, back to the front. So we don't come up. We're going to keep switching left and right for the next 40 seconds. Ready? In three, two, one, and go. Don't give up. Turn. Keep your hands in front like you're holding a big hammer in front of you. So you're only twisting your feet. So turn and keep touching. Good morning. Just up. Okay, 15 more seconds. Go. And five, four, three, two, one, and yeah. Woo! How's your legs? It's really good for your tights. Okay. Take a breath. Next one, we'll start for upper body training. So upper body means we're going to finish with push-ups. I'm sorry. Okay, first one, we're going to do plank kick. So the first plank kick, we start in push-up position. We don't move away from this position. Okay, so your arms are going to remain straight during all the time. We're going to kick high. Knee in, high, and knee in. Make sure your arms are straight all the time. And you're not doing this. So your back has to be straight. Go up, like in. Okay? We're going for 30 seconds for each leg. So 30 seconds left leg, 30 seconds right leg. You ready? In five, four, three, two, one, and go up, in, high, in, high, in, high, in, and keep moving. Back straight, come on, don't bend those legs. Actually, bend a lot. <laughs> Five more seconds, then switch side. Three, two, one, and change. Keep moving. Leg high. And bring this knee in. Come on, 10 seconds. In five. Four, three, two, one, and yummy. Good job. It's a good start. Right, next one. If you think this was hard, next one's gonna be amazing. Step through push up. So, for the step through, it's like a normal push up, 
but you're gonna twist your leg that way, you're gonna push up, down, and back. Notice that when you do that, your hips gonna turn. Then it's gonna be normal if you feel the tension on one side more than the other. Okay, so if you step that way, this arm should be, should be forcing more. If you step the other way, the other arm is going to force more. We're going for 30 seconds, okay? Get ready, and three, two, one, and go! Ten 
seconds. Go. And five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Awesome. Twist climber. Because why not? Okay. For the twist climber, it's like the push up, just like the V. Just like the leg cross push up, but this one, I mean, your climber, you're going for that way, your knees going to the side and to the side. You don't have to do the push up, but make sure you twist your hip when you bring your knee in. So it's almost in, knee in, and in. Okay, ready for 30 seconds? Get ready in three. Two, one, and go. degrees in both legs and you bring this up and down if you want to make this harder try to not touch the floor and like this ready we're starting five four three two one and go up and down go Keep moving, contract those abs. So the abs should be giving a sport here. Keep moving. Last 10 seconds, go. And five, four, three, Two, one, and on. Almost done. Floor. Evil Superman. 20 pushes. Okay, so legs up, hands up, and Evil Superman. Make sure you bring your upper body high. Ready? 20 pushes with me. Get set. In five, four, three, two, one, and go. It's ni, sa, si, go, rock, six, hats, ju, and it's ni, sa, si, go, rock, six, hats, ju. Do and relax. Hey, no rest. Stand up. Go, 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 go. Okay, so I'm sparring now. So hand in front, sparring stance, one leg forward, and our leg slightly back. Keep your guard in front of you. So from here, jab. Okay, jab and cross. Remember to pivot your body when you cross. So not only the arm. You're gonna bring your hips forward. And so jab, cross. So it's gonna be a, a hip game here. Okay? It's always protecting your core. Protect your face. Let's go for jab and cross. No stop. As fast as you can. Go! Okay? 
Keep moving. Keep your hands in front. So lower one hand is not, it's not an option. Keep check if your hands in front of you. If it's outside, it's not working. So keep your guard in front of you. Okay, last hand as fast as you can go. Hey, I'm ready. Okay, next one. You want to see back uh, front kick from your back rack? Okay, so no stop. Front kicks. Okay, ready and go. No stop. Raise your knee when you kick. Raise your knee first. Knee first. Knee first. Then bring it back. Keep your guard in front, don't lower your guard. Okay, change base, the other way, go, kick, no stop. Don't lower your guard, keep your guard in front of you, don't look down. Okay, change again. Now jab, cross, kick, and go, 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 go. Workout. Now, I'm going to give you an idea. If you feel like it's not, you want to work more on legs or you want to work more on core and arms, what you can do is instead of doing the whole series of all three, you can focus on two of them. And as doing that, you do this. Instead of 30 seconds, start with one series of 10 seconds, one series of 15 seconds, one series of 20 seconds. Okay, so you can do, for example, uh, the launch kick. You could do launch kick for 10 seconds from both legs. Then you do take a break of five seconds, do 15 seconds series, rest another five seconds, and do another 20 second series for both legs. You can do that for the whole series of uh, lower, upper, and core body, or you can do only legs and core, or you can do core and upper body, or you can do core and core. As I said, you always do core. Always do core. Always do core. You're going to need core for the rest of your life. Okay, guys, thank you very much for the class. Uh, thanks for the company. You're really amazing. Uh, thanks to everybody who ever came to my classes. If you're starting now, please send me a message on my social networks. I'm on Twitter and Instagram. Send me a message. It's going to be a pleasure talking to you, meeting you, knowing who you are, and of course, adding you here to the list of amazing people who've been training with me during this pandemic times. Uh, I'd like to thank my sensei, it's Mike Loro Civics from East Wing Martial Arts here in Ottawa. You can access the dojo website at eastwingbudo.org. That's the best traditional martial arts dojo here in Ottawa. So please come training with us when this is all over. It'll be a pleasure having you here. And finally, I have to thank my great friend Andrea Brito from Energia Insurances. Uh, she works with travel insurance. And now with the whole pandemic, you know how important it is you have a travel insurance when you're somewhere, somewhere that's not your home country. You're gonna need that. Hopefully you want. But if you have it, you'll be covered uh, pretty well. So access goenergia.ca 
uh, go, E-N-E-R-G-I-A dot C-A. <sighs> Check the website, get in touch with her. She's gonna be an amazing person and help you a lot. Thank you very much, everybody. Oh, one last thing, tomorrow, Thursday. So tomorrow's class is gonna be at five because I have an appointment at 6 p.m. so I won't be able to stay with you. So I'm just bringing this a little earlier. So at 5 p.m. I'm gonna do the, the, the usual karate class and of course I'm gonna be here with you. Okay, take care guys, I see you tomorrow. Bye.